my name is Gabrielle Marshall. I will be doing two monologues today. My first one will be my um, comedic contemporary monologue, and it'll be from a play by Sarah Rule called Stage Kiss, and I'm playing the character Lori. And my second monologue is going to be my dramatic classical monologue. I'll be doing Anton Chekhov's A Doll's House, and I'll be portraying the character Nora. You know what? You should visit sometime. My father once said he's never met a mean man from Iowa. So, the show's over. You must be so relieved. I, it must have been so exhausting. Night after night, all those lines. Really? I think I would get so tired repeating the same thing over and over again. That's why I like teaching kindergarten. You never know what you're going to get. Every day's different. I love children. I can't wait to have children. Of course. We haven't been together that long, so I don't know if he likes children. Do you like children? <laughs> oh, would anyone like lunch? It is 12 o'clock, isn't it? I can never understand why everybody in the city ate so late. Noon comes and I'm starving. It's like, ring the dinner bell. <laughs> you're funny. No, no, not at all. I really think you're funny. It's just rare, you know, to find pretty women who are also funny. You know, and usually women who are funny are, are compensating to be pretty, I find. Because um, usually if you do find a pretty and funny woman, she you find out later that she used to be like 200 pounds or she had got a nose job and you're like, oh right, that's how she developed a sense of humor in adolescence. Sandwich? Is it rash to save one's husband? It would have been fatal for him to know. Can you understand that? He was never to suspect how ill he was. The doctor came to me privately and told me that his life was in danger and that nothing would save him but a trip from, to the south. Do you, do you think I didn't try diplomacy first? Abroad, like other young wives. I wept and I prayed and I, t I told him how he ought not to, ought to think of my condition and that thwart me off. And then I told him he could borrow money. But then Christina, he got almost angry. He told me that I was being frivolous and that I, that I, that it was his duty as a husband not to yield to my Wins and fancies, so he called them. Very well, I thought. But saved you must be, and I found a way to do it. Father died at the very time. I meant to tell him all about it and begged him not to say anything. But he was so ill, unhappily, it wasn't necessary. Good heavens! What must you be thinking? Tell him when he has such a loathing of debt? Besides, how humiliating and painful it would be for Torvald if he knew that he owed me anything. It would upset the relationship between us, and our happy, beautiful home would never be again what it is. <laughs> 